What's going on everybody? It's your boy Malik at Malik's Water Garden. Welcome back to the channel. We're here uh, in front of one of my Amazon sword plants. Uh, so this is one of the Echinodorus Amazonicus. It's a basic sword plant. Um, these are commonly available. This particular version, this particular uh, specimen is over 10 years old. Um, it's actually one of uh, the oldest plants I've, I've been keeping here. Uh, I got my first uh, parent of this plant in 1997 and uh, I still have that one as well. I'll show you some b-roll footage of that. It's actually going through a dieback. I have to do some uh, root treatment for that plant. So we're going to talk about what you can do to keep these plants growing very long and uh, produce quite a bit of baby plants like this. Uh, I actually cut off uh, all these baby plants that you're seeing in this tank. There's about 30 or 40 that came off of this mother plant. Um, that's what basically this whole contraption is. Uh, I like to grow them immersed. Um, so I'll tell, teach you all that tricks and details. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. The channel's growing really fast. Let's get to 500 subscribers as soon as possible. So please subscribe down below and hit that notification icon for this type of videos. Uh, having said that, uh, let's get to this video real quickly and let's look at this plant. Uh, so basically I did a, quite a bit of trimming on this and uh, this is in a basic container. It's a Tupperware container uh, and I'm using just, you know, uh, aquarium planted or, 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 or colored aquarium gravel. So this is just garbage aquarium gravel. It has no like nutritional value. So how am I growing this plant in this container? Um, and this plant I've had for like over 10 years, so obviously not in the same container. Um, but for the most period, uh, for the last like maybe six or seven years, I have had this particular plant in containers specifically to get baby plants. So uh, this is one of the really easiest ways to propagate this particular variety of plant. Uh, and I like this plant quite a bit because it grows uh, luscious leaves and it grows quite thick and, uh, and it grows quite heavily. And, uh, and you can sell these quite easily. These ones I sell for about $5 uh, and not at this size, so about a bit bigger. Um, so my friend who, who runs a pet store buys them from me for about $5 each and then he sells them for about $9.99 each. Uh, so then the time I sell them, they're about five, six inches tall. So like I still have to grow this out. That's why it's still in the stem. I'll show you some that, uh, that are not on the stem no more uh, to give you an idea. Uh, but basically this is in the immersed form. So when you get an Ecuadorus plant, first of all, it will be uh, in similar form like this. You would have to transition this into underwater form. Uh, what will end up happening is all these leaves will start dying back. And then uh, instead of this type of leaves, uh, wider, sword plant leaves will start coming out the type of leaves that you are more familiar seeing uh, and then eventually after four or five months your plant will become an underwater type uh, of this plant even underwater specimens do propagate but not as frequently as uh, the immersed form these immersed forms propagate like every day i can get a flower out of this plant if i really pushed it this is a f older flower um this is another flower um this is a flower that's coming out right now. Um, see, so uh, every day, every couple of days, you'll see a new one. So there's another one right there. This actually has flowers. Uh, it was underwater, so the flowers kind of died. But there's a, the flowers look really beautiful when they do actually flower. I don't actually have footage of an actual flower right now um, or in here. I'll try to find footage. Actually, I probably do have in my uh, B-roll somewhere. These are some of the older flowers from yesterday. So they flower every single day or every other day you'll have like a bloom. Um, and, and it's really easy to, easy to keep them above water. Um, so what I do is I'll keep the water line anywhere below the, the leaves. As long as these leaves are above water, you're good. And uh, if you keep bringing up the water line slowly, let's say like if the water line is here, and uh, you leave it there and, and not let it drop for let's say six, six weeks, then the next leaves coming up would be taller. So you can keep doing that. And I have one plant that's over two feet, that's like two and a half feet tall, uh, the, the mother plant of this plant. Uh, it's actually going through a dieback. I'll show you some B-roll footage of that. Um, so uh, what do you need to do to keep these alive? So in this container, what I have done is I've taken about an inch 
of uh, of uh, peat, like not peat, but like uh, so I've taken about an inch of like garden soil, uh, high quality compost at the bottom of this, and I've topped it with this uh, aquarium gravel to keep the garden soil in, right? That's all I've done. And then uh, you can see the root ball on this. Uh, see how much roots have grown on here. And uh, on this side, you can clearly see it, you know. Uh, so now this plant is quite root bound. Um, I do intend to remove this out of the pot at some point. Uh, not tonight. Uh, I'm just doing some routine maintenance on this. And I'm putting it back to another tank. Uh, why are these plants so useful? And why am I talking about this plant so much? These plants are really good nitrogen suckers. So what I use this plant for is uh, in any tank that I have, uh, that I don't have substrate in, uh, that I have uh, fish that are pooping quite a bit, like placos or whatever, or grow out fish or whatever, I can put one of these or two of these containers in. Uh, these are like six inches, seven inches across, or six inches this way, maybe eight inches. So eight by six. So small container, I can put two of these in a 12 or 15 gallon long or 20 gallon tall, no problem. Uh, and I can have two of these plants growing in there, sucking up all the nitrates. This is actually nitrogen deficiency uh, that you're seeing, uh, some of the yellowing and stuff in here, some of the leaves. Uh, and uh, it's because uh, there's not enough food for this one plant in the tank that it was in, uh, with all the babies that it was producing and whatnot. Uh, so uh, the bottom line is these are really good nitrogen suckers. So uh, if you have uh, any type of uh, tank that you have light on, you can grow these. It's very easy to grow. You don't need quite a lot of um, you know uh, high quality stuff or anything like that. You can just grow these under fluorescent lights. I'm growing this particular plant under LED shop lights. Um, so I bought those off of Amazon. They're about 30 bucks each light, four foot. Uh, there's not no nothing special. Uh, I don't fertilize it or anything like that. Uh, in this particular case, I would probably recommend putting a couple of root tabs uh, because this plant has been in this container for over a year. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do for this today. Uh, aside from that, I'm, 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 I've actually removed quite a bit of the leaves. Uh, I didn't want to bore you through that, but uh, all these dead leaves do end up getting trimmed off. So every five to six months, I will go in there and I will remove all the dead leaves uh, or dying leaves. So this one here would get removed and that's that and uh, what else am I doing I'm taking out all the the the, the stems that the the plant baby uh, the plantlets come out of so the the flower stalk I've taken all that off so any excess flower stalk this one here that's dried off so you can see the flowers have already dried off here I've taken off all the plants that that have come off of it like uh, over here from there on everything else was little baby plants so these last three flowers did not produce anything uh, and uh, I will remove that um, so just snip that off very carefully gone um, leaving this one actually no there's actually there might be plantlets coming out of here so I'm gonna leave that for now because there's still some signs showing that the, these flowers were germinated so that's the trick um they need to be germinated so see how these uh, bulbs are here when these flowers came out they were underwater so they probably most of them didn't germinate some of them could have because this one looks like there's roots coming out of it so uh we'll see you know this one's definitely did germinate because they're above water uh these ones germinated you can see babies coming off of those so see uh germination definitely on the first one here uh, you can see germination 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 uh, I don't know these ones haven't opened yet so these are still flowering uh, so there's germination there definite germination there because there's a lot of flowers and I don't see any babies yet but there's roots coming out so germination on that so keeping those on uh, anything else that I feel like is not germinated uh, that doesn't seem like anything is coming out of them uh, I'm removing any old leaves, any dead leaves. These these leaves here definitely coming off. What is this guy? So that's yes. I'm gonna keep this one here. Uh, there was more uh, in the front, but these ones have not been grown enough for me to remove. So I'm keeping those. That's the only thing I'm doing for this plant, and I'm putting two root tabs. 
Um, it doesn't matter what brand of root tabs you use. Uh, it's up to you, your personal preference. I, I personally use uh, Flourish tabs uh, with iron. Helps my plants grow really well. I really like that stuff. Um, I buy the 40 tablet version and it lasts me a couple of years. Because I don't really, this is like after like two years I'm pulling this out to actually to do this. Uh, and I figured I'd make a video while I'm doing it. I actually started doing this and uh, then re decided to film. Anyways, that's the update I have for you guys. Um, as always, I thank you so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification icon. And uh, look out for new videos coming out. I make new videos every day or every other day you will get a new video from me now. Uh, and it's all going to be about the fish room. There's a new fish rack um, being set up or like an existing quarantine rack being repurposed for as a breeding rack. So I'm going to make a video about that. Stay tuned for that. That's actually what's happening right now. So I made, I'm made i making this video while I'm doing that. Uh, so I'll, that'll be the next thing coming up. The update on that. So stay tuned. There's a fish room video coming out right after. So uh, as always, thank you for your support. I love you all. I'll see you on those videos. God bless.